We now have an update to an I-24 News exclusive report we brought to you yesterday here about secret talks in Iraq between the United States and Iran. Now, we asked the State Department for a response, and this is what they said, quote, that is false. There is no validity to this report. U.S. Special Representative for Iran, Brian Hook, also denying any back-channel talks with the U.S. But our senior diplomatic correspondent, Christian Millard in Paris, he's standing behind his reporting. This meeting you alluded to previously, you described it, happened. Uh, Brian Hook, uh, who is a special advisor uh, to uh, Mike Pompeo, is obliged uh, to deny our allegation for several reasons. Because, first, neither the Iranian Supreme Guide Ali Khamenei uh, nor President, U.S. President Donald Trump want to ignite a conflict which would be a catastrophe for world economy. But at the same time, at the same time, for fear of losing face, neither one uh, can confess is negotiating or wants to negotiate with the other. Brian Hook denied our allegations to a Saudi TV, Al Arabiya, which is close to the regime, the Saudi regime, which, which is close to Donald Trump. And do you imagine, uh, Mr. Uh, do, do you imagine that Mr. Hook uh, would confess uh, to the Saudis uh, that the Americans are having negotiations right. or contact uh, with uh, the Americans? Uh, I, I think it's impossible. And finally, I would say that last March, U.S. officials in March, uh, and the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad met Mohammad Javad Zarif, the Minister of Foreign Affairs from Iran, and nobody made so much fuss about that. Let, let, let's explain that.